Religious and traditional rulers from the northern part of the country gather here for the commissioning of the headquarters of the Sultan Foundation as well as the Foundation's second annual general meeting. Among the dignitaries present at the event are Governor Nassau Erufai of Kaduna State and the Sultan of Sokoto, His Royal Highness Alaji Saad Abubakar III. The foundation was established to promote peaceful coexistence as well as strengthen maternal and child health services in the northern region. One of the components of this foundation is to foster strengthen education of the woman, both Islamic and Western education. And in doing so, we will normally partner with non-Muslims because we are in a country where we have a large population of Muslims and Christians. And peaceful coexistence is most important if we want to stay in peace and develop in peace. However, the processes leading to the 2023 general election come to the fore as Governor El Rafai raises concerns over the use of religion and ethnicity as tools for division by some politicians in their campaigns. I am concerned as a citizen and as a governor and as a Muslim about the way and manner some of the politicians have gone about campaigning using religions and ethnic division as a tool. And your eminence, I think this election uh, poses for us a very unique opportunity to take religion out of politics in Nigeria. By emphasizing on issue-based campaigns, Governor Nassau El Rafai would rather have all the candidates vying for election show deep knowledge and understanding of the governance challenges that beset the country and how they intend to tackle them and not whip up religious sentiments and ethnicity to influence voters.